beautiful day at Pennington Place. Just wanted to show you our broken black rabbits. Um, these guys we've grown out. They'll go to um, a meat cellar. Uh, the coloring isn't right. They're kind of a snowy color, but you know, that's kind of what we got into rabbits for was meat anyway. So um, there's five of them in this cage. And uh, you know, earlier we had discussed the rabbit tractor outside. We have nine rabbits in the rabbit tractor outside. These five rabbits here in the pen, growing out, eat twice as much food. These five eat twice as much as the nine that are out in the rabbit tractor. That is the beauty of the rabbit tractor. Um, we forage around and we get different types of weeds that they like to eat and grasses, clovers, things like that, and we feed them that. And then we have a small feeder in the house out there to supplement. Um, granted, they don't grow as fast because um, they're not eating as much of the pellets. The pellets are made to grow your rabbits at a, at a quicker rate um, just because it's a higher protein. But when they're eating mostly grass and weeds and, and vegetation, things like that, they grow slower so they're not picking up weight as fast. But you're not feeding them as much. So I guess the, the advantage of the rabbit tractor is your food cost is down. But if you want a high turnover rate to grow them quick and sell them, then um, Rabbit Tractor isn't the way to go, obviously, because it takes longer to grow them up to size. We're not aggressive as far as we just want to breed, 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 grow, 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 sell, sell, sell. Um, that's not what it's all about. We started it as meat rabbits, and that's what we still are, but um, I get attached to my rabbits, so... I don't want to breed them to death. I don't want to breed them just constantly until their poor little uteruses can't take it no more. That's not what it's about. Um, there's a humane side to all of this that you have to, to stay with. If you're just business minded and you stay in that business mind, that business frame of mind, um, I'm sorry you may succeed in your rabbitry and you may turn over some money, but that is not what it's all about. These are God's creatures. He gave them to us to take care of and rabbits were put on this earth as food period they're not aggressive they're not fighters they 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 are they are not predators in any way shape or form they are preyed upon period that's that's their whole purpose out in the wild and like this they're beautiful they can make great pets um, but ultimately they're food that is kind of what they were made for um, but there's got to be a humanity side to it too You've got to care about your rabbits. You want them to stay healthy. You want them to stay fit. You want them to uh, be able to work for you as long as they can. And keeping them healthy and keeping them happy and safe is the way to do it. So um, that's why I wanted to do the tractors. I wanted to do the tractors so that uh, rabbits could be rabbits instead of just, this is all these rabbits know. They don't know anything else. So they don't know any better, but I do. So. This is what rabbits do during the day. When it's warm, they hang out in the shade. They're not very active. Most of them are in the house. This is the tractor, and this is what rabbits do. This is their natural, natural instinct. They come out later in the evening when it cools down and the sun isn't so strong. Um, like I said, the five inside eat twice as much food as these nine because, if you see over here, there's a pile of the leftover stems and stuff of weeds that we give them. We usually fill a five gallon bucket full of different types of weeds, horseweed, clover. Um, I don't know the names of all of them. Michael knows them and I can pick them out if we go looking. And we fill that bucket, we cut them off, fill them, bring them in here and they eat them down. They grow slower, but they're so happy. And this is what rabbits were meant to be. It's so hot. Look at him huffing and a puffing. But he's got good shade. They've got water. They'll come this evening. They'll be out and they'll be moving. So, the benefits of uh, of rabbits out in a pen. The benefits are for us better meat quality. They may slow grower, but they have better meat quality. They're happier. I know that. Uh, I know that they've lived 
a life of being a real bunny, not just in a cage. So essentially they are in a cage, yes, duh. But they have access to grass. They're kept safe. No predators are going to get them. They're not going to dig out and they're not going to get eaten by a fox or a coon or anything. Or a hawk isn't going to come down and grab them. So they're pretty free. They come and go in their houses. They please. They get water. In the evening we give them tons of food to eat because that's when they eat the most. It's in the evening time when it's cooler. So... That's my thoughts on Rabbit Tractor and why we do what we do. Um, I guess kind of keeping it ethical. Anyway, if you have any thoughts or comments, please share them. I'd appreciate it. You have a beautiful day. Bye.